Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm pharmacist Tayranur, and in this video I would like to give you brief information about an active substance called metformin. Let's get right into it. Metformin belongs to the biguinid drug group. It is the first choice drug for type 2 diabetes treatment. It is most commonly used antihyperglycemic agent in the world, meaning that it lowers blood sugar levels. It has been used for a long time. It can be used alone, in combination with other glucose-lowering agents, or insulin. Biguinids increase the activity of AMPK, or adenosine monophosphate-activated protein kinase. This enzyme coordinates metabolic pathways to regulate cell energy requirements at maximum levels. In short, metformin increases the activity of this enzyme, thereby increasing glucose uptake. This activation is necessary for metformin to be effective. Metformin achieves its glucose-lowering effect, especially by suppressing hepatic glucose production. It increases insulin sensitivity, increases glucose uptake in the periphery, and reduces glucose absorption from the gastrointestinal system. Although metformin is the first choice agent for type 2 diabetes treatment, uh, its beneficial effects have been discovered in many diseases apart from diabetes. For example, it is also used in the treatment of polycystic ovary syndrome. It is not related to weight gain and is taken orally. Polycystic ovary syndrome is generally associated with insulin resistance in women. Nowadays, drugs that increase insulin sensitivity are used as a new method in the treatment of this condition. Metformin reduces high blood insulin levels in patients prevents excessive hair growth caused by excessive secretion of androgen hormones. It improves a woman's menstrual cycle and facilitates pregnancy through normal means. Metformin prevents protein synthesis and cell growth by activating the AMPK enzyme along with several other enzymes. Therefore, this drug can be used as a complementary therapeutic in the prevention and treatment of cancer. We can summarize the benefits of metformin as follows. It can reduce cancer case cases, it can reduce the mortality rate from cancer, it can increase the response to treatment in cancer cells when radiotherapy and chemotherapy are used, it can reduce tumor movement and malignancy, it can regulate blood glucose levels. If the drug is used in excessively high doses or prescribed to people with kidney problems, it can cause excess lactic acid in the blood. Though Lactic acidosis is temporary. It is not recommended for people with liver diseases. Thank you so much for watching and support our channel by giving us a like and a comment down below. Thank you.